Hello there, my name is Stephanie and I am a communications and media major at CUNY School of Professional Studies and I just wanted to make a quick video to let you guys know what the differences are between online college and a traditional college experience. So one of the first things that everyone should know about online school is that you don't have a specific place to be at a specific time, unlike traditional college. So this can be very beneficial for many reasons. This flexibility can give people the freedom to do many other things in their life. And you can get your classwork done on your own time whenever it suits your schedule best. One thing to keep in mind though is that this freedom does come with a different kind of discipline. You definitely have to motivate yourself and stay on top of all of your classes and all of your due dates and everything that you have to learn and complete. Since you don't really have that person-to-person -person interaction with a professor or peers and students, you definitely have to motivate yourself and be disciplined enough to stay on top of all of your work. Another difference between online school and traditional school is that networking is so different. When you're at a traditional college, you have classmates that you see whenever you go to class or friends that you see around the hallway, fraternities, sororities, you have a lot of clubs, a lot of activities going on at the campus that can really be helpful when it comes to networking. If your college does have any events throughout the semesters, you definitely want to try and go. This way you can put a face to any names that you may be reading on emails, get to know some students, some of the staff, and just have more of a face-to-face -face interaction at any events that may be going on throughout the semester. You can also try and find networking events outside of your college. Depending on what city you live in, there are many options for meeting people and one of the websites that I really like is meetup.com. Things like emailing people in your city that are in the field you want to be in and asking them if you can interview them, ask them a few questions, see what a day in their life is like. Another thing that can be quite different with the online college experience is Finding a balance in life, I feel like whenever I was taking classes at a traditional college, there were always clubs or activities or events happening on campus that allowed me to be more well-rounded and do other things other than my classes. And I think that's really important. So sometimes when you're in an online school environment, you don't have those things easily accessible. Put an extra effort into maybe finding activities to do outside of school, around your hometown. Making sure that you have some hobbies so that your life isn't just school, you know. I think that's really healthy and important for mental health and just being a well-rounded person. Online school learning is definitely much more independent and self-paced than traditional college. You have to make an extra effort to communicate with instructors if you have any questions or doubts. And since you don't have that lecture time, like a regular traditional class where you go listen and take notes, you have to read and watch and fully understand and digest every single bit of information and every resource that your instructors are providing for you on Blackboard because that is what you're using to learn, you know? And definitely engaging in the discussion boards is a great way to see what other students are saying, gain a different perspective. It's like being in a classroom, but online, it truly is. You can read what other people are saying and that can be very beneficial in the learning process as well. It's just not in person, it's online. It's, you know, on a discussion board, on a screen, but it's definitely still very useful. So those are some of the biggest differences between an online learning environment and a traditional learning environment. I think both kinds of learning are great and it just depends on what you're looking for and what you need in your life and in your education. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and that you gained something from it.